Welcome to the Sports Talk with T. Instead, we're going to be talking about a hypothetical trade, sign and trade the Knicks could do with Mitchell Robinson if they were to move on from him, like I mentioned in yesterday's video. And that player is Christian Wood of the Houston Rockets. Christian Wood of the Houston Rockets averaged 17 points last year, um, 10 rebounds on 39% shooting from the three um, with one block per game. I believe the Knicks should look to trade for Christian Wood. He is a stretch five. If you put him next to Julius Randle, say we're stuck with Julius Randle, I think this can help open Julius Randle's offensive game back up with a stretch big next to him that could average 17 and 10 on a nightly basis. Um, that's not the best defender. That's the biggest thing Christian Wood is lacking. And as we know, Tom Thibodeau wants a rim protector. But Christian Wood brings a lot on the offensive end. And his contract is very affordable for what he brings you. Only $12 million a year for bringing you 17 and 10. And 39% from the three-point shot for a big is pretty good. The Knicks should look to trade for Christian Wood. What would it take to get him? It would probably be, like I said, sign and trade Mitchell Robinson. You might have to throw in a guard in there. I would I would be willing to throw in Fournier or Reddish if we could get back Wood and Eric Gordon. I think Eric Gordon can add a lot to this team. He's a pure shooter, but he's also a really good defender compared to Evan Fournier. Um, he fits the system better, I feel. I know his contract is not the greatest, but it is don't have much longer left on it. And we'll be taking that on in hopes of getting Christian Wood as well in return. So that'd be kind of like them, you know, you got to take this Eric Gordon contract on if you're going to get Christian Wood with a very affordable contract that Christian Wood has. For what he brings you, like I said, for what he brings you, $12 million a year is not bad at all. It's got two more years left on it. Um, I believe one more year going into next season. But Christian Wood brings a lot more to the table offensively than Mitchell Robinson does. He's way more versatile on the offensive side of the ball. He also gets you more rebounds than Mitchell Robinson. Um, he does Obviously, he doesn't get more blocks than Mitchell Robinson. He's not quite the rim protector Mitchell Robinson is, which is where I think Tom Thibodeau probably – would look for other options, like maybe a DeAndre Ayton, who's more of a rim protector. Um, but I think Christian Wood would be a perfect option for the Knicks for the value, for the points per game, for a team aspect on the offensive side of the ball. Like I said, he could open up Julius Randle's game a little bit. We get a guard. If we were to get a point guard this offseason, which I'm sure we're going to get a point guard at some point this offseason, we get a point, a true point guard to pair with those two bigs and Julius Randle and Christian Wood, both that both that can shoot the ball. Um, obviously, Julius Randle struggled with his jump shot a little bit last year, but if we had, or not a little bit, quite a lot last year. But if we bring in Christian Wood, who can also shoot the ball, that could actually, like I said, it could stretch things out. It can open up more things on the offensive side of the ball for Julius Randle. Um, I just think it's a great move to bring in a guy like Christian Wood. An underrated player, in my opinion. I've always liked Christian Wood. I like the story of the guy. You know, I thought he really worked hard to get to where he's at in the NBA today. Um, and the 17 and 10 guy, like I mentioned, the 17 and 10 guy to stretch the floor for the Knicks, open up well, a lot more on the offensive side of the ball than what Mitchell Robinson can. Because um, I, we, we all know Mitchell Robinson does not shoot the ball. Um, he's. Great in the paint player on the offensive side of the ball, but in today's NBA, you need to stretch the floor. We're seeing the Warriors doing it. We're seeing the Dallas Mavericks doing it. Quite frankly, we're seeing the Boston Celtics do it with Al Horford being able to shoot threes at the center position. We're seeing a lot of those teams, even the Miami Heat, look, they got Bam Adebayo at the center position. He's a versatile offensive guy. I mean, he can shoot the ball. He can dribble the ball. He can do a little bit of everything. And Christian Wood is a little bit of a playmaker, too. Averaging 2.3 assists per game, it's a little bit of playmaker in him at the center position. And you you package, you know, like I said, Mitchell Robinson for him. You're really not losing anything. It's going to be a sign and trade deal. You're gaining back a better center, in my opinion. You probably have to throw in Cam Reddish or Evan Fournier, and possibly you'd get Eric Gordon as well with Christian Wood. So I think it's a good thought for the Knicks to 
to go down and look at and see, you know, should, should they get Christian Wood or not. If you did enjoy this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and leave your thoughts on Christian Wood down in the comment section.